what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? All you good today? Somebody's getting it for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people? It is the day of another day. I'm another day. We call Friday. Anybody been said, what's good, people? Oh, oh, it's been a mess. Um, I haven't talked to you. In a, um, I skipped the day yesterday. I didn't talk to you. Um, I was going back and forth in reference to, um, you know, the, um, you know, the search for the perfect man. You know, as far as being, you know, the kind of girl we are that we want to know if men could go out in public with us and, you know, just be true to you and not try to be a fraud and per and perpetrate a fraud as far as being true to you. You know, and a lot of times I'm trying to do different avenues as far as, you know, letting the girls know that there are possibilities and hope out there. <laughs> And we know how I feel, but, you know, I just feel as though we need to try to cover different grounds and stuff like that. Anyway, that being said, here we go. Okay. Let me just let you know this. I have come to terms that <clears throat> I didn't have to deal with a lot of bullshit that I, when I was looking for a man. Step one. I also come to terms that well, not come to terms, but I come, yes, I come to terms, you know, that I'm very dominant. Means that when I say dominant, I mean I'm not in the business of taking orders from a man. You know, and, and these are straight men, and they really are straight men, because they're like, got this, you know, just take charge attitude, and, you know, I want you to be this to me, and you're the woman, I'm the man, and, you know, watch me roar, and I'm sitting up here doing this. Oh, boo boo. Oh, boo boo. That's not going to work here. It's not going to work here. You know, but I sit back and I listen to their stories and stuff like that. And, you know, they give me their, you know, elaborating on how they feel about different things, stuff like that. You know, and the thing about it is that, you know, we have a disconnect because if you're not a trans woman, you really don't understand the experience. And I've gotten, well, you know, when it goes through what y'all go through and, you know, you're going to break down. I don't like comparing apples and oranges, telling me that what a woman goes through or a fat person goes through makes my story no more different than theirs. Because I feel as though, if you feel as though you need to tell me their story, how they go through their changes, then clearly you are definitely talking to the wrong person. You need to be talking to them. You know, and my thing is that's the disconnect because if you don't understand my story, you don't understand my journey, and you don't understand my worth. Because the girls like me are selling that pussy left and right because simple fact of the matter is they're, they're sick of the shit. You know, and the simple fact of the matter is that you find somebody who's trying to do something with you, trying to move forward, and you're comparing apples and oranges. If you did not walk through that trail, you really don't get it, and you don't have to get it. But my thing is just that you don't get it. <laughs> anyway, the man side. You know, and the thing about it was like, well, you know, you need to understand. I don't need to understand nothing. But I'm listening. Oh, boy, I'm listening. Because I'm checking off this and checking off that, you know. And I feel as though I have to listen to you because... I guess I missed something, but I, I need to listen to your story. Anyway, the man's time. Move, move, move along. I'm dominant. I do not take orders from men, especially men that's not doing a damn thing for me. You want to take me out to dinner, and I'm already jaded behind that because after the dinner, then comes what? Can I come upstairs? No. You know, and then there are guys always trying to explain themselves that they're not like other guys and stuff like that. I get it. I understand. And I do appreciate you taking out your time and, you know, explaining. Then it's the guys, when I say don't send me naked pictures, they send a naked picture, but they butt out in the air and, you know, perverts. But it is what it is. It is online, so you can't expect everybody to follow rules because it's, you know, their way. But the thing about it is that if you can't follow rules on what I've asked you to do, why would I want to be with you? Because clearly, you do everything your way, which means that we relationship and I call you, you don't take my calls because you didn't feel like it because that's the way you are. It's your way. So, of course, I looked at that and moved forward. Anyway, the bad side. So, this was day three. I got on, I, um, I think it's called Tag. I was on Tag. I found it to be very interesting. I gave my phone number out to someone and, you know, basically tag me. Let's, let's fuck, you know. And it's just, oh, it's just mental exhausting. But, you know, the thing about it is, like, I always say, watch your back, you know, check people out. But then, I don't know if I should share this story with you, but... Let's just say this, without me giving out too much, so read between the lines. Better yet, fuck it, I don't even care. There are a lot of celebrities that come on Craigslist. <laughs> and you know, I don't give out names, so I don't do that and stuff like that, but they hit me up and, you know, and I'm going, hmm, 
But you know me. Mother loves to play like a dum dum because a dum dum always gets them. But the smart person always says, Don't I know you from somewhere? No, but I don't do that. So anyway, he says, Send me information, something like that. So he, you know, I looked him up and, you know, I wanted to make sure, you know, mother knows how to do a few, you know. So I checked and made sure it was him. And, you know, um, I said, Well, give me a call to call me because I have caller ID. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, because I wanted to make sure that, you know, mother does the homework. So he calls me and his name came across the thing. So I was like, hello, how are you? Hello, who is this? And he gave me his real name. But then he, then he all of a sudden hit mute and hung up. So I was like, okay, I, I understand he made a mistake. He wasn't supposed to give me his real name. He was supposed to give me the fake name, you know, the one that's on Craigslist. So he called me back. I guess he was trying to see if I was to get him. Of course, you know, mother never took it. So he called me back and everything. His name comes across my thing. All kind of he comes across again. And I'm going, hmm. So, you know me, I'm going to play dumb dumb with you because clearly you don't want me to love, you know, what you like. So, I have no problem with that and stuff like that because, uh, you know me, I don't give out names. I would do that to anyone as far as, you know, this is not my style. That's corny. Anyway, the Ben's time. So, he called me and everything back and he gave me the fake name. So, I was like, <laughs> I was like, give him an E for effort, boo boo, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, I get it. So, I, you know, I talked to him and stuff and he's like, how you doing? I said, I'm okay. I said, can you talk? He was like, yeah, sound like you're sleepy. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not sleepy, but, if, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm saying, sounds like you're sneaking. So I'm thinking, maybe he has a girl. Maybe he has a He said, well, I'm at work, so I can't really talk. See, this is the problem I have with a man, because this is how I see it. You're on the phone sneaking, doing something, girl, and why you feel girlfriend is another room. Anyway, they better say, without giving out too much information. Because if I say certain things, you're like, wifey, girlfriend, oh, I think I know it is, but I'm not going to tell you, so don't ask. Anyway, they've been sad. So, he, anyway, so he called me and stuff like that, and I was like, okay, you know, two phone ring, but minimum, that's it, to stop. Anyway, so anyway, he said he wants to get in contact with me, you know, he wants to take me out and stuff like that, but I was like, mmm, mmm, mmm. Anyway, ching like, <laughs> no, I'm not, you know, not going after the money, but it was very interesting and stuff like that, and, you know, and, um, very interesting, but I didn't expect that. I also didn't expect, you know, a few other things, but I don't want to share that either, but let's just say this. I didn't expect a few basketball players to hit me up as well. <laughs> Woo! Baby. One thing I have to learn is in this world, we all feel like we're different. We actually all said, we all share the same air in a lot of ways, baby. And that thirst is real. Anyway, the being said, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not going to tell you that person either, but it is what it is. And, you know, it's just some food for thought. And, you know, I found it to be very interesting because I was about to, you know, get off the side because I thought it was a little, you know, too much for me because it came overwhelming. But I think I'm going to keep going here a little longer and I'm going to share some stories. But I'm not going to do the names, but it's just about to get deep up in here. Anyway, they're being sad, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to put them out there like I said before, but. And as far as the ones I met, that was pretty normal, so that guy, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is, and pretty boring, but it is what it is, and some was cool, you know, it is what it is, and talked to quite a few people. But anyway, they're being sad. Um, just group of thought, um, have a safe weekend. I know you'll be watching because I'm going to be sharing the dirt, but not going to be on the way. That being said, I just want to say, be careful, have a safe weekend, it's Friday, you always watch your back. And I want to say hello to my dolls. Meow. I want to say hello to my kings. Woo. I want to say hello to all new people. Boom. I want to say hello to all people. Old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing. I want you to do, I want you to do the best way that you can. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them.